every morning I have to come and drop off a big bus Camille, right? To the school bus stop. And then they take him to school. Nine to two. Well you guys already knew that. Because in the last vlog you guys saw it. But look, look how beautiful the city looks from up here. Really nice, huh? So today, Monday, it's the start of a great week. Anyway, so I'm not gonna lie. It feels a little bit weird sometimes to drop my little boy off to school on the bus and see him off at nine to two. Um, it, I don't know, just because I drove him to school when I was in the US, it wasn't that hard, but seeing him go on the bus and he sleep my side for that long, it's a little bit weird sometimes, I don't know. One of the main cool things I like about waking up early in Spain is to actually enjoy the, the day. You get to enjoy it a lot more than the US because there's so many things to do. And it also helps that, uh, that my job doesn't really take that much of my time here. That back there is the aftermath of the big food cart truck festival that I got showed you guys on the last vlog. Looks like it was a big fat party and everything was just left all over the place. But the good thing about Spain is that it's dirty right now, but in a couple minutes they'll have people out here cleaning it and making it look like new again. Now, don't take me wrong, it's not that I compare Spain to the United States because there's no comparison to each own, they have their own things, but there's a couple things that Spain does that's a little bit better than the US, but it's a couple of things, well, actually a lot of things that the US does that is better than Spain. Keep in mind, this is my first time out of the country and actually not just visiting, but living in another country. So that's why I say life in here in Spain is different from the US. In no way I'm trying to compare it. I'm just trying to you guys see the differences just in case you guys ever decide to visit around here. But so far, I'm loving my adventure here in Spain. Breakfast time. One of the cool things about here in Spain is bread is literally freshly made and you go pick it up at the bakery and enjoy it. One of the things I'm trying to do here in Spain is I'm trying to get a baker to give me an inside look of how they go all about their bakery and their business. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that hopefully one of these bakers can befriend me and then I can go in there and see how they make this bread and maybe do like a little bit of a just tutorial on how he does the bread over here. We'll see. We're out and about in this sunny day, baby. We're gonna go do some stuff here, like paperwork stuff. Like, let me tell you guys something real quick. So, uh, you followed us on Instagram, you probably know the story that we did last time about how we went and we wasted about an hour and a half doing nothing. Uh, you remember how you complain about the DMV and you guys take a long time waiting to be helped? Well, here it's a lot worse. They tell you you need all these paperwork and then you get to the place and then they tell you, oh no, you forgot, you need one more extra paperwork and they'll send you on a witch hunt. Kind of like Donald Trump, <laughs> on a witch hunt to try to find his paper. So we got all the paperwork that we need and we're heading over there right now to get everything all taken care of and finally get that weight out of our shoulders and just enjoy our day. You know that saying, people always talking about patience is a virtue? Believe me, when you come to Spain, you better have all the patience in the world because they will push your buttons to the limit. Again, we came to a place and they told us, oh, you have to wait, I'm gonna call somewhere and we're gonna see what happens. It might take three months before you get your stuff done, etc." So if you're gonna come to Spain to visit, great. You're gonna love it. If you're gonna come to Spain to live like we are, we make sure you have everything like done before you come to Spain or you know exactly what you're gonna do. We know exactly what we're gonna do, but believe me, it takes a long time. Like, especially now that the summer's coming because June, July, and August, pretty much all legal offices are closed. Unlike the US, they don't have one day of, of holidays. They have three months of holidays. And believe me, nothing will be get done in those three months. So now, we and wait. That, and exactly, and the thing is, 
we're doing legal stuff and and you know i'm a, a citizen what about the people that they're not are they gonna wait longer i don't know we shall see now we wait and now we're just gonna enjoy this day so that's the cool thing about not worrying so much about our job taking so much of our time because we actually have to get things done unlike the u.s we probably wouldn't have time to do anything but then again the u.s doesn't take three months to get stuff done exactly if you go to the dmv and it's done a few hours to get your id here look <laughs> it's been three months <laughs> we keep waiting and we keep waiting <laughs> Molly went to pick up Camille. The bus gets here at 2. It's 2 o'clock already. Actually, it gets here at 2 o'clock, but it's 2 o'clock already. And she left me in charge of the food. Uh, I'm not that much of a chef, so hopefully it gets cooked well. But we are going to do a tutorial one of these days on a plate called Rasho. So be on the lookout for that one. This is going to be really good. On top of that, the plate is really, really tasty. Hey, big boss. Hi. Welcome back. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. High five, dude. Yeah. How was your day at school? Really good? Yeah. You have fun? We're we'll cooking, we'll cooking rice and meat for you. I don't know. Every day Camille comes from school, we like to just eat and then have our siesta and then take him out to the park. You guys seen us go to the park other times so they didn't really put it on the video this time. But we go out there and we come back home. Funny thing is, when I leave, when we wake up and we put in, we turn on the TV, they're playing soccer. When we are having our lunch time, they're playing soccer. And right before you go to bed, they're playing in soccer. So on yeah. that note, I want to tell all my Real Madrid friends, Ana Madrid, we're champions. We're champions. Yeah.